I just realized these are probably solar panels, and that's the energy we've been running off here on the escape pod. Okay, as you can see on my very pinned screen right now, I have a lot of stuff I want to make, and I think I can make all of them now. Let's begin I here by... the location of some important technology. I implore you to investigate. Will this help us build you a body? I do not know what we will find. I just know it is important. That sounds... Signal location uploaded to PDA. Architect Artifact X3J. It's actually pretty close by. Maybe we can visit that. Especially since we have the rebreather now. And we're probably going to be making the sea truck very, very soon. Okay, let's try to clear some of the stuff from my pinned list first. A compass. How about that? Yeah, now I can actually tell my way. The rest of the stuff, I think we should... Well, we can make a repair tool, right? But the rest of it, it might be better to make it in my new home all the way a little bit to the... Um, to the outside of the escape pod here. We will need a repair tool for the sea truck probably, so now would be a good time to make it. And can I... Do I have space to... I'm really full right now. I really just need to, like, make a freaking... Blocker. Really. Oh my god! Did you just eat something right in front of my face? Jeez. Last time it was really dark and I ended up putting a habitat right beneath the ice. Yeah, this one, which I've half deconstructed. I wanted to move it over a little bit so we can at least see the sunlight. Solar panel wise, it wasn't a problem, so it's just really me wanting to see the daylight. Here we go. And I can't deconstruct it because I don't have space. Right, right. I haven't done anything in here yet. Like, we can probably expand this way later on. But overall, I'm not really digging this spot. I feel like right now it's important that I have a base, so I'm not gonna fuss too much, but it's just... I kinda miss my first base, you know, back in Subnautica 1. I like that spot a lot. It was nice and felt like we were going on a tropical vacation in Hawaii or something. Welcome aboard, Captain. Yes, thank you. Why don't we start off with a very, very important battery charger. I feel like I'm gonna want to put this stuff in the exact same spot I had it before because I'm really boring like that. Oh. <laughs> yes, do I want to charge anything? Plenty of stuff I want to charge actually. But not, not the habitat builder though because I actually do need you. Um, how about like that? Take away the battery for that for now and... Probably even the sea glide can... Well, the sea glide's not that. Yeah. Oh, what about the scanner? Got a whole bunch of batteries here. Uh, here. Here. There we go. Boop, boop, boop. Only three? Oh, I guess I only had three. Oh, maybe because I used one? <gasps> Wait, I used one to make a repair tool earlier, is that okay? Am I still on target for having all my ingredients here? Unpin that one... Unpin that one... And... Do I have enough to make a fabricator? I don't have a pin here, so I am actually... Not 100% sure, but I guess we can find out. Is it just me, or does the lighting feel kind of like yellowy? Maybe because I don't have any windows right now. Oh, did I have it here before? I think so. It's really important that we build a freaking locker right this moment too. I need space so badly. So badly. Um, I know this doesn't fit three, right? So I just gotta like space out two and call it a day. Thank you very much. Oh my god, I'm so boring. I'm like building the exact same thing I had back in one. <laughs> Let me deconstruct the thing outside. But this time we should be able to do some improvements that we couldn't do before. Because now I kind of know how to build a base and all that. Overall though, this place is just a little bit too shallow. We can't really go up that much, so we might have to um, not put too much into the space overall. It's just a resting spot basically. 
Okay. A mobile vehicle bay. How about that? And I need some new beacons, too. While I was collecting the resources for all this stuff, I found a place that looked like it could be interesting. So I placed a beacon down, but I haven't gone there and really looked around yet. It could be nothing. But, um, let's see. Where was it? Oh, oxygen plant hole. Like, there was an oxygen plant there, so I felt like, eh, if I keep going down, there's probably gonna be something interesting. And then... A bioreactor. I can't build it on this floor, though, can I? I'm not sure. And I kind of want to... Oh, but I can't really... Yes, yes, yes. I'm just thinking where I want to build a plant pot. Because I want to make my little... little greenery here. Mm, maybe I'll build it behind me this time. Do I have enough materials on me right now? Because I'm kind of far away from the pod. I don't know if easy craft works this far. I want a... Right, so this works. Like that. We can also go this way. Generally though, I feel like if you want to maximize efficiency, it's probably easier to go up and down as opposed to horizontally. Because horizontally, you got this tube here. But up and down, it's just clicking on the ladder, right? Yeah. Well, I mean... Okay, we'll see. <laughs> oh, maybe an observatory would be a good one there. Oh, hold on, I'm... <laughs> I'm like not making up my mind already. Let's... Actually go... This way. That's alright, or... Mm, I can't stack another one on the bottom here, I don't think. Because it's kind of... Yeah, there's not enough space. I built on a bit of a hill here. Oxygen. Okay, maybe I gotta like... Wait, hold on. Here we go. I need water, by the way. Thank you. How many layers can we build here, though? This is really, really shallow here. It's only like 20 meters. Warning. Emergency power only. Guess I'll build two here like that. If we can have a bioreactor, do we need one? Solar panel might be good enough for this space because we do have solar power here. Oh, sorry. Just build it like that for now. More important that we have function over form. Releasing the mobile vehicle bay. Power restored. Oh, I gotta like actually release it. I can't just drop it. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. Good enough? Yes. Oh, I'm definitely running out of titanium. Just looking at the... my little pin recipes there. Okay, still got enough for the sea truck? Yes, one person sea and space vehicle. We're actually quite close to the electric cage area. And by extension, the Delta Station dock. Maybe we should make a small base there, too. I like the idea of having a base on land. Because I want to check out the weather patterns and all that. Oh! Look! Oh, this is much smaller than I thought it would be. Because I thought a truck would be, like, big, like a cyclops or something. But maybe not, like, that big, but medium-sized? This is, like, a cute little sea moth. Okay, can I, uh, do you want to let me in? How do I get in? Power cells. Oh. What would be the difference between this and a sea moth? So it's basically like the new sea moth, I guess. For the moment, it seems pretty similar. Okay, very cool. How do I get out? How do I leave? Okay. Awesome. Awesome. Then we would need a dock to like, try to charge the stuff too, because the power cells, we don't have a thing for powering 
We don't have a thing for charging power cells right now. Mm -hmm. The rest of what I need, we built a thing above us, right? Habitat builder? So first of all, maybe I want to... Um, I guess putting it in the back is more space efficient. The center, if we have a bioreactor right here, that would kind of work too. Would it? I see for some reason we still don't have an animation for going up the ladder. Bioreactor. Um... I mean, we, we come in right here though. With this gigantic thing right here, it seems kind of like a waste too. Do I need one right now? Well, why not, right? Hmm, actually, you know what? I'm gonna build it on the above floor. Because this is the floor that I anticipate on making my main floor, and I don't want to like have to walk around it. It's just kind of gigantic. And then maybe here, if I have the materials, can I make a bunch of glass? Would that be cool? Oh, I don't have glass right now because I don't have that thing yet. Yeah, but I do have enough for basic plant pots, do I? No, I don't. I don't have titanium. I gotta go back and probably bring some stuff over. But for now, that is done. That is done. That is done. Oh, okay, good. I finished building everything I wanted to make for now. Awesome. Okay, so just give me a second and I'm gonna transfer most of my materials over into these two lockers then. Okay, I've moved basically all of my stuff. Maybe let's make one more locker over here. Just stuff all of my random creature eggs and whatnot. These are so big, what the heck? It's gotta be a penguin, right? It kind of looks like it, the patterns. This is a crash fish. This is a symbiote thingy? Yeah, but like it's not related to the titan whole fish at all. It's just its own thing. Okay, we have a bunch of stuff that we got from Delta Station. We can try to put it up now. One, two, three, four, five. Let's see what this is. First of all, the penguin art. Oh, it's a, it's supposed to be on a desk. Okay, not that one then. What about this one? What is this? Nah, this one's kind of lame. How come we can't see the thing before we put it down now? It's just like this generic poster icon. I wish it wasn't because that makes it a lot harder to tell what it is. Put it down. For some reason, it's not putting it down. No? It doesn't like it here? Oh, I was clicking on the wrong button. <laughs> Say no to sky rays. This one can stay. Yeah, this one's pretty cool. Keep calm and truck on. I kind of want to put this inside my truck. But uh, for now, I'm gonna probably take it back this one and... Nah, this one's so generic, like, motivational postery. I don't like it. I like this one, though. This is cool. This one, maybe I will... Let's see. Maybe I'll put it, like, right behind here. It's not exactly centered, but oh well, whatever. And, uh, sure, we'll just keep that there for now. One thing that I am kind of curious about... Other than the posters and whatnot. Uh, let's just put it down here for now. Random stuff. Picture. I'll get to the picture once we build like an office space or something, but for now... Oh, Mercury the second. What's this one? <gasps> oh, this is cool too. Kind of like it. But on this side, I want to build a tube to more expansions. So not this side. Maybe I'll just build it, put it right here for now. Yeah. I look like some kind of like a Transformers fan or something. All these vehicles and whatnot. Okay. What should I do next? I kind of have a makeshift home now. We're sort of prepared. Not really, but it's better than not having a home. And it's become pretty obvious to me that 
Well, now it's kind of daytime, but when I was transferring the materials back and forth, it's really, really dark here, so it's definitely necessary for me to, like, put down a light or something. Just a little bit of light. We gotta make sure we know where the home is, especially because right now I don't even have a beacon on it. Oh, but do I have a light, though? Power transmitter? There is no thermal sources around here. The only energy sources we can do is bioreactor and solar energy, for the moment. Can we make another multi-purpose room? Like... Yeah, next to it like that? I kinda wanna make a glass tube connecting it, especially because I've never done it before, but... It doesn't seem like that's a thing. Like, I would have to make a dedicated tube just to be a glass tube, which I feel like is kind of dumb. Oxygen. So now that we have this, I can try to make this my gardening room or something, which is going to be really pitiful for now because I've only got a chic plant pot at max, which is still better than nothing, I guess. Can it even be planted? The shrub nut I got before. Oh, I have it on me. It can! Okay. Now we just wait for that to grow. Looking kind of pitiful for now because we don't have any windows because... Let me check again. I really can't make a window, right? I can make an aquarium, but not a window. I can make a jukebox. I don't even have enough titanium for that. Really? Dang. Mod station? This is gonna be important for making a thermal blade and a whole bunch of other stuff, but at the moment, I'm missing diamond. I have not seen diamond yet. Titanium 2. I wonder if I can get it from here. <gasps> did I really use all of my titanium? I did! I don't have any titanium. It's pretty bad. Well, hopefully we'll live. Give me a second to eat and drink, and I think we'll be ready to get going again. The sea truck is a modular aquatic navigation vehicle. For fun and function, additional modules can be attached to the back of the main cabin or detached to evade predators. I completely missed this when the PDA said it. Oh, yeah, because I was looking at the beacon manager and I was thinking, why does it say sea truck main cabin? So it's really like a truck in that you can add additional stuff in the back. Ah, that's what makes it different from the sea moth. I see, I see. Okay, well, uh, we have quite a number of places we can go to today. And I think they want me to go back to Delta Station Dock, because this thing won't go away, and then the pilot signal is still here, and then the um, architect artifact is here. These are the three main things that we can focus on today. While focusing on doing that, should I be looking out for particular ingredients? I think diamond. Diamond for making a mod station so that we can make more upgrades and stuff. I think right now, the sea truck goes down to about 150 meters deep, which is really not that deep. That's actually not even as deep as where we found Alan, so it's not that great right now. Oh, I want to make a jukebox too. Maybe let's worry about that once we come back, okay? Today, why don't we... Why don't we focus on the pilot signal? Mm -hmm. How far away is it? Yeah, this is where Alan is. That's the only place where I know how to find gold right now, so it's important for me to have it. Also, I still want to go back there because I feel like there were... We could still go deeper there. It wasn't the end of it. That's Delta Station. Artifact. My little oxygen plant hole. So the pilot. The pilot's about a thousand meters away, which sounds like it's really, really far, but I'm hoping it's gonna be okay. Wanna try going today? I don't have any sort of inventory space in the sea truck right now. It's just the front module, so we'll see how we go here. It goes pretty fast though, so 1,000 meters probably isn't going to be too big a deal. For as long as we have signals underwater, I think I'm probably going to be focusing on trying to find underwater stuff. But I do really, really want to explore above ground too. One of these days. Maybe when we go back to Delta Station. Which we eventually have to, because... Oh, that's that 
that dinosaur thing we had before, right? We have to because we gotta bring that test module thing to the, um, the tower. By the way, I don't believe I've ever scanned these things yet. Right. Hydrothermal spire. So this might be a source of thermal energy. These chimney-shaped structures are formed from dissolved minerals pushed upwards through the planet's crust. The presence of metal sulfides gives the escaping material its dark, opaque appearance. Aquatic life found in proximity may have evolved adaptations to the presence of these toxic compounds. Mm. Don't live here, but it might be a good source of energy. Calaverite is good for gold and titanium. Good to know. Thank you very much. Continuing on here. This is the spot where we saw the woman just jump off. She jumped into the water from the land, and this is approximately where we saw her. It kind of looks like a face. Oh, the land is pretty flat here too. Maybe I should have made a base here. Oh, and this is obviously thermal energy. Shouldn't touch that, right? It looks really hot. Lithium? Oh, okay, just you. It's so pretty here. I love the light, the amount of light. Ragged pitcher plant. The ragged pitcher plant is the only known species of predatory underwater plant on this planet. It grows on mineral-rich hydrothermal deposits. The bowl-shaped pitcher produces a concentrated brine that pools inside due to its high density. When small organisms get too close, they are stunned, causing them to sink into the pitcher, where they are dissolved and absorbed by the plant. Gotta be a little bit careful then, huh? The prettiness. That's why it's so pretty. Pretty things are dangerous here. Fumarole. Whoa! Ow! Oh, oh, it was getting ready to erupt, and I just kind of put myself in the way. Scary. What's this? Oh, oh, it's you, it's you! Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Oh man, things are just not going right today. Maybe we should get out of here. <laughs> we'll worry about the rest later on. Fumarole. Well, maybe not the best place to live because of all the vents and stuff, but it looks so pretty here. I love it. Now we're getting a little bit deeper. Might want to be a little bit careful of the holes blasting us away. Here's some wreckage. So is this old wreckage? Is this Delta Station wreckage, or what? We don't really know. Oh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, I gotta just hit you a little bit, right? That was the whole thing about the entry. Should I try it out? Hey, hey. Hit you a little bit, you get scared, and you leave. Was that the deal? I gotta be careful though, because that actually took a big chunk out of me. Ah, uh, 50? Yeah, we should use this. I don't have any more though, so we should be very, very careful here. Don't be risky anymore. Lithium. Sea truck aquarium module. <gasps> Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Dude, what if I just make the sea truck my home? That'd be so good. A mobile home. That's what I was trying to do with the Cyclops last time. Oh my gosh. Control room. That's like an actual room, not for the sea truck. It's not a module. That's new. We'll have to look into that later on. Sea truck. The sea truck seems to be the preferred mode of transportation around here. 
fabricator module. Oh, we gotta get more. Yeah, somebody's sea truck crashed here, is what it seems like. Battery, thank you. Oxygen? We can only get in through the top of the sea truck. It's a little bit of a hassle. There's a PDA here. Control room rapid depressurization. To well team and electrical. We're getting closer. I know the control room will change the process of base building. It contains all the information you need in a singular place. Energy delegation for low sunlight areas, build layout, structural information, etc. We're leaps and bounds away from V1, which literally just rolled to the bottom of the ocean, even off flat ground. Rapid implosion is supposed to be painless. I hope that's true. Definitely a better way to go than the electrical fire in version 5.7. Poor way to go. Super unfortunate radio call to overhear. Jasmine was the latest worker that volunteered to test the control room. For hazard pay, of course. She was on the radio examining some information panels when she experienced rapid depressurization due to a hull breach. Apparently, the panels were welded poorly and blew a hole in the wall. So, no hazard pay for her. Or anyone else for that matter. At least she didn't suffer. This next build should have all the kinks ironed out. The control- the stuff about the control room is nice, but... They seem to like not really care about their lives here. They're just like, oh well. Coworker's gone. The end. I think we just found one piece though. We gotta find more pieces if we really wanna... Take advantage of it. Meanwhile, we're getting a little bit closer. This place is so nice though, I really love the flat land. But those guys are a bit dangerous. I don't want to really be near those guys. Is that a... that's a brute shark, right? Are those brute sharks? That doesn't seem like a brute shark to me. Oh, whoa. Okay, that's not a brute shark. Not sure if I want to mess with people right now. I don't have any sort of med kits. It's actually kind of dangerous for me to be continuing like this. But we have to for science, right? There's two. It's like the squiddy shark. Squid shark! That's exactly what it is! Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh! Oh! We gotta go, we gotta go. Yikes, that was a big chunk. Okay, no more risky maneuvers for the rest of this trip because I am currently not only thirsty and hungry, but also kind of dead. Not good. Drink a little bit. Make sure we're topped up. I do have a cured arctic peeper. Yeah, hopefully my health will come back passively fast enough. Oh, are you a feather fish? I think you are, right? Oh, I want to look around, but I'm scared here. Warning. Maximum depth oh. reached. Hull damage imminent. That's right. The water here seems... unusually murky. Not sure how much I like that. It feels like there was a lot of wind here. Like there's a lot of currents in the water. Okay, what are you? Fan plant, adolescent lily pad. Oh, a lily pad. It's just a lily pad. I keep trying to go in through the front, but that's not how we go in here. Lily pad. Oh, fumarole earlier. These blister like fumaroles are vents for steam and volcanic gases that cycle through stages of accumulation and release in hidden chambers deep beneath the ocean floor. The gas mixture emitted by a fumarole typically contains carbon dioxide, sulfur dioxide, and hydrogen sulfide, sourced directly from bodies of magma. The vibrant violent explosions seen here get their distinctive purple hue, 
from the additional presence of gaseous iodine in the mixture. I was kind of wondering about that. Adolescent lily pad. As they grow toward the sun, the main leaf unfurls in a fan shape, and the cluster of smaller seedlings along the base begins to twist around the main stem, forming a thicker stem that is more firmly anchored in the ground. More importantly, is there a way for us to avoid the squid shark? Root shark. A common shark-like predator with low intelligence, its relatively streamlined body enables fast navigation of tight spaces. Yellow slash turquoise coloration provides camouflage in shallow waters. Slow moving, it ambushes small fish from above. Mm, kind of like the sand shark, not too scary. Low intelligence, good for me. The squid shark, on the other hand. <gasps> Oh, it's a Leviathan-class predator, at the smaller end of the scale, with complex squid-like adaptations which allow it to hunt a wide range of prey. Expels swallowed seawater through vents on either side of its body, providing slow and steady jet propulsion, or terrifying bursts of speed. An internal jaw can be extended and clamped down around small prey, dragging them inside the mouth hole. Two blue electrified tentacles drag beneath its body. Ah, oh, here? Used to perform hit-and-run attacks on larger, slower targets, subduing them over time. Assessment avoid. Oh, that's why I had that fancy animation when it got me. Because it's supposed to be real scary. And I am scared. Don't get me wrong, I am scared. Just... It's smaller, though. It's not like a Reaper Leviathan, so we can hang in there for now. What am I looking at? Is this a gigantic fan, or...? Whoa. There's definitely some interesting shapes around here. The pilot is close, but we might have to get out of our sea truck. Warning. Maximum depth reached. Hull damage imminent. Yeah, at some point we're probably gonna have to leave it alone. What is this, though? This is probably a sea truck module? Yes. Aquarium. Some sort of a gigantic... Uh, I don't want to get too far away from my sea truck. But look, there's something down there, clearly. Oh, are these oxygen plants? No, they're like... No. This is too deep. I'll make a note to check back on this, but we probably need some kind of like a... Maybe a bigger oxygen tank would be nice. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Yeah, at least we have the sea Warning. truck. Maximum oh jeez. What is that? Oh, I'm sorry, I keep going down, we're breaking. Yeah, there's actually quite a strong water current here, isn't there? Feels like it. What is that? That's... That's something. And the signal... Where is it? Okay, that's very, very close. I'm literally looking right at it, but it's gonna be below. In that case... I think we gotta go down. Leaving the sea truck here. Well, I guess we gotta do what we gotta do. Let's make sure it's noticeable, though. And we'll take away the other stuff for now. We just need the one thing. Yeah, okay. There goes nothing. What the heck? Okay, this is more alien stuff. There is a large anomalous mass of rock that has broken away and risen above the surrounding terrain. This is last of where we saw the pilot. Hmm, I can't help but feel like it's probably... Like we probably have to follow the light somehow. But I also don't feel equipped here because we don't have enough oxygen to go down. On the sea truck is a little bit... Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. 
Oh, uh, we might have come a little bit too early then. Maybe it's best for us to focus on finding upgrades. But just thinking about that rebreather situation, we might have to be a little bit braver if we want to get the upgrades. Mm. I want to see you through. It's just that I don't think these cables are suspicious. What's going on on the surface? Can we check it out? Lily pads? Yeah, lily pads are normally not fan shaped. Not the ones that I know. Lily pads in the Arctic? Well, we're not really seeing too much here. Oh, gigantic lily pads, though. Mature lily pad. The previous one was an adolescent. Can we get up? No. Can I at least stand on the sea truck? Dangerous weather approaching. Seek shelter. Seriously? Oh, there's something above the water there. You saw that, right? That seemed kind of scary. A massive rock that has broken and risen above the surrounding terrain. Um, Mature lily pad. Once the rising lily pad breaches the surface, its sealed fan slowly releases, causing the leaf to unfurl into a large flat circle that floats atop the surface of the water. Despite its size, the mature lily pad is able to float due to surface tension. Hmm. I do see some very alarmingly large things, which kind of really, really freak me out. But... Okay. No, I already said it. I'm not doing any dangerous maneuvers today because I don't have any med kits and things are scary, so as long as that guy's not touching me, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna go touch it. I should have repaired my thing, though. But you know what? Sometimes, when things are this big, it could be like a friendly whale or something, right? It doesn't have to be mean. But I don't want to find out, you know? No, please. Please. The brood sharks are okay. Hmm, I wonder if we can go down, though, because I want to... I want to go and follow the lights, but I definitely don't think I have enough oxygen. Oh my god. What on earth is that? Wait! What on earth are you? Spinnerfish. Oh. Yeah, I'm gonna read a bunch of them back at home. For now, maybe we'll focus on New looking around. Discovered. Maybe... Oh, there's something new there too. Maybe what I should do is put my mineral scanner on diamond. Would that help? Or whatever makes diamond? What does diamond come out of? Table coral. What are you? Oh! What, 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 what? Stop! Stop! Whoa! Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Whoa! Oh my god. Am I okay? <gasps> no, I don't feel- Oh my god, am I- Where is my- Where is my sea truck? Here, here. Holy- That's like some advanced mesmer thing. Oh my god, I- Mm, but we have nothing to show for this trip so far, though. We've done some exploration, and there's some interesting things here, but we can't... We're not making any actual, like, tangible progress yet, because we're not able to get here. 
because it's too deep. Well, okay. What about if we try to... What about the architect artifact? Because this one seems a little bit not as deep. We just got to go backwards with that help. Maybe we just gotta look around more and find some more wreckages so we can find bigger oxygen tanks, more sea truck stuff. What is that stuff? Warning, maximum depth reached. Yeah, you're scary. Okay, no, okay, 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 fine, sorry. Ah! Oh shoot. It zapped my power! Oh, I'm out of here, I'm out of here. Oh my god. Yeah, that's right. It's a little... It's a little two tentacles. I gotta freaking repair my thing too. I don't have it on my hotbar, so I haven't done it at all yet. Oh jeez. I feel like I might have overextended today. Gone a little bit too far to places where I shouldn't be. Significant geothermal activity detected below. Beware of high pressure and temperatures. Hmm. Oh, but I want that. Some sea truck stuff. This is still okay. Are we safe here? Relatively. We also don't have more power cells for the sea truck too, so we gotta be really, really careful. Oh, don't look at it! I need to use it! Thank you, thank you, thank you. Making a few more modules, making us a bit more mobile in general. Maybe we'll be able to proceed a little bit better after that. Docking module fragment. And look what I see! Some gel sack. I don't know if we need it, but it's mine now. Yo, that's like a gig- what? There's a ship here. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. There's a gigantic shadow here. What's going on? Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Yeah, I don't know where that shadow was coming from. <laughs> Um, we can explore this one. This is... Maximum depth reached. Hull damage imminent. This is something. It looks like a rocket, actually. We have some of those... Those guys here. But other than that... Please, guys, just leave me alone, okay? I just... I just wanna look around in peace. That's all. Is that so much to ask for? Let's see. Salvage. Scattered wreckage. I'll take it back for titanium. <laughs> the noises are actually really freaking me out. Well, if I have the space, why not, right? Is there like an entrance to this place? It looks like it's long rusted over. Some old and salvage. Really, really old and salvage. Yes? Oh, jeez! You're freaking me out! Why don't we put a beacon down here then? Right now, I don't see a way to like go in. Warning: maximum depth reached. Hull damage imminent. Oh, there's a hole. We can't go in. In this kind of place, though. All right, let's go. Oh, but we don't have a laser cutter if we need it. Oh, cut open to access. 
No. Oh, this is so old. Oh, frick. Too much metal salvage. Jukebox thingy. Hmm, we have to come back here then. There's some stuff. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Hold on, alright. Uh, metal... Rusted wreckage. Sounds good to me. Hmm. Maybe I can read about it right now too. Scattered wreckage. Metal scraps may be reclaimed for their titanium content at any fabricator. Oh, it's just talking about the metal that we found. But this specific place? What is this? This has been here for so long. More than two years kind of long? I'm not sure exactly. There were definitely places we can cut open. So let's keep that in mind. 